Hi, Wendy here from wendybottrell.com and as we continue to talk about sleep this month, um, our topic today is improve your sleep with these simple habits. And sleep, according to the medicinenet.com definition, is defined as the body's rest cycle. And then we found this quote, sleep is the golden chain that ties health and our bodies together. That's by Thomas Decker. In over the past few years, we've been focused on ways to improve sleep. And our topic today is to help you improve your sleep with these simple habits. Now, it's no exercise that sleep is a crucial element to our survival, equally as important as food, water, exercise. However, not all periods of sleep are the same quality, and it's the quality of our sleep that can make a determinable difference in how well we function when we're awake. If a person's sleep is interrupted frequently, or if one simply doesn't get an appropriate amount, the quality of rest received is diminished. And that will have a significantly negative impact on our ability to function and our overall productivity when not sleeping. Without a question today, proper sleep has a distinct and direct correlation on our memory, learning, and ability to re retain information and getting into the practice of re improving our sleep absolutely can and will make a difference in how successfully we sleep each night. No question about it. Many sleep rituals involve routines and habits that must take place long before you go to bed, including getting into the habit of taking care of certain activities or responsibilities first thing in the morning as opposed just to uh, before you go to bed. Stressful tasks or conversations that require extra thought and attention, such as paying bills, having converse, you know, having those uh, intense conversations with your spouse or significant other, or basically participating in any activity that is likely to raise your blood pressure or trigger, trigger the release of cortisol or other stress hormones must be saved for the first, first part of your day and not the last, of course. Basically, don't do anything to get ramped up too close in proximity to the hour when you will begin to wind down. Similarly, another habit that is beneficial to our sleep quality is reserving the place where you sleep for sleep only, as opposed to using your bedroom also as an office or a TV room. If sleep is the only activity your mind and body associate with the bed, then it will be easier to fall into a restful state when you do go to bed. Additionally, the environmental factors of your sleep space, such as the lighting, temperature, and noise level, can all play a major role in affecting the quality of the sleep you receive. Keeping the bedroom dark, quiet, and a few degrees co cooler than the rest of the house will have a positive impact on your ability to truly rest. Some of the other factors that can affect your sleep uh, are how recently you eat or consume alcohol prior to going to sleep. Food and alcohol will metabolize at different rates and eating or drinking too close to the time that you're going to bed can actually result in your sleep being interrupted when your body is attempting to enter the REM, rapid eye movement stage of your sleep, and can interfere with your body's ability to recharge. If you want to achieve your optimal productivity throughout the day, then it is essential that you plan ahead for where, when, and how long you sleep. Practicing good sleep ha habits, such as the ones listed above, are simple, easy, and guaranteed ways to ensure that your mind and body have the best chance at rejuvenation overnight. Sleeping well is paramount to our overall well-being, and discovering, practicing, and implementing habits that contribute to the quality of the rest, in turn, paramount are paramount to our health, happiness, and vitality. 
practicing these sleep habits and exploring others that you may find work individually for you and sleep simply just paying attention by putting effort toward receiving good wholesome periods of rest will result in you feeling and doing your best when you are awake it's taken me a long time to figure out the best sleep habits for me this is an ongoing practice let us know what you've done to improve your sleep in the comments below we'd appreciate if you uh, enjoy the comment to like and share um, be sure to get in touch with us and please let us know how we can help you we will put a link to our newsletter in the uh, show notes and uh, would appreciate you subscribing um, to our newsletter. This is Wendy, wendybottrell.com. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye for now.